Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unlimited, the Blue Angels report minor mid-air during practice session. TechNAM's P-2012 Traveler is certified, and an aerobatic accent claims the life of a prominent broadcaster and airshow pilot. Welcome back. I hope you had a great weekend. I'm your host, Sophie Herlock. The U.S. Navy has confirmed a practice flight went wrong when two Blue Angels F-A-18s came into contact with each other, luckily without any serious damage or injury. During the Diamond 360 maneuver, the number three canopy made momentary contact with the underside of number one's outer wing. The number one Blue Angel is flown by the team's boss, Navy Captain Eric Doyle, who called a safety stand down after the incident and went into an extensive deep brief. An initial damage assessment found only a minor scratch on the canopy of the number three jet. The incident did not disrupt this past weekend's scheduled appearances in Chicago. Stick around because we'll be right back with Around the Patch after these messages. Today is a new dawn. With a new name. Un nuevo logotipo. A new factor. Und einen globalen Kundenfokus. We are Continental Aerospace Technologies and we stand behind you. There's a difference between charting a steady course and pushing for the ceiling. And for nearly a century, Hartzell Propeller has been defining that difference. It's in our passion for engineering and research and our dedication to testing the limits of performance. We are built on honor. We are Hartzell Propeller. Welcome back, it's time for today's trip around the patch, where we'll take a quick look at some interesting stories coming out of the aviation industry. It's been a big week for Virgin Galactic. Their mothership, VMS Eve, arrived home at Spaceport America in New Mexico. This brings Virgin Galactic one step closer to starting commercial service. The FAA has issued an IFR STC for the Bell 407 GXI. The certification is a requirement for the Navy Advanced Helicopter Training System competition, enabling the Bell 407 GXI to replace the Bell TH-57C Ranger as the U.S. Navy's training helicopter. If this happens, the company plans to conduct final assembly of the aircraft in Ozark, Alabama. Flight Safety International now offers an advanced rejected takeoff slash no-go recurrent course for pilots who fly the Gulfstream G550 aircraft. Pilots will face up to 13 new scenarios during the four-hour simulator session. Each scenario will require a decision by the flight crew to either continue or abort takeoff. The course will also help to validate the operator-specific takeoff briefings by testing them against various airports, environmental conditions, and weights. The city of Pleasanton, Texas, and a number of aircraft owners got some bad news when an FAA inspector called them to let them know a number of aircraft based at their home airport were not legal to fly. After an individual complained about this to the FAA, an initial investigation revealed a mechanic doing business based at the airport was not reportedly certified. We'll be right back with the rest of the news. Concord's recombinant gas RG series sealed battery technology produces a high performance battery with the advantages of being pre-tested and fully charged at the factory. Find out more about Concord's entire line of batteries at www.concordbattery.com. Concord, the heart of your aircraft. There's never been a better time to become a pilot. At the Sling Pilot Academy, you can get your private, commercial, and instrument ratings in nine months for less than $63,000 and do it in modern, fun airplanes. Your flight training is going to be as exciting as your future career as an airline pilot. SlingPilotAcademy.com 
Technom announced the FAA awarded a full type certificate to the P-2012 Traveler with the number A00076CE under Part 23 of the Federal Aviation Regulations. This puts the company on track to commence deliveries, starting with the first 20 of 100 P-2012 Travelers awaited by Cape Air in Massachusetts. Powered by two 375-horsepower turbocharged Lycoming engines, the aircraft features a modern design and state-of-the-art equipment, allowing single-pilot operations depending on individual country regulations. The aircraft's easily access airframe and systems, fixed landing gear, robust interiors, and easy-to-replace parts result in high efficiency and low maintenance costs. The first P-2012 prototype made its maiden flight back in July of 2016 and was awarded full-type certification by IASA back in December of 2018. Airshow pilot Franklin J.P. Augustus went down in his 1983 Pitts S-2B about a half mile from New Orleans Lakefront Airport while giving an aerobatic ride to prominent local TV reporter Nancy Parker. The crash killed both Augustus and Parker and the aircraft was consumed by fire on impact. And while Augustus did radio a short warning of aircraft trouble prior to the impact, little is known about the accident. Augustus was 69 years old and was heavily involved in aviation outreach and his local chapter of the Tuskegee Airmen. And passenger Nancy Parker was 53 and had been a reporter for WVUE-TV for 23 years. And that wraps up our Airborne Unlimited for today. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe and to check us out on Twitter and on Facebook. And for the latest aviation and aerospace news any time of the day, head over to aero-news.net. I hope you had a great start to your week and I'll see you right back here tomorrow.